In this video, I'm going to go over all of the important questions that you might have about the career of data scientist and data science in general. We're going to be talking about things like what data science is, what data scientists do, their job satisfaction, salary, how to become one, job outlook, and the best places to live if you want to get into this field. Now, if you appreciate this type of video and you want me to make more, you know, I don't have some kind of fancy marketing department or anything like that, like a lot of the big universities do. So if you wanna see more of this type of video, go ahead, gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell and comment down below and let me know. All right, so starting off, we are gonna go over the definition of data scientist. Now, according to Wikipedia, data science is an interdisciplinary field that uses science scientific methods, processes, algorithms, and systems to extract knowledge and insights from noisy, structured, and unstructured data. And yes, I know that it's pronounced data. I say data. Don't worry about it. It doesn't really matter. So in layman's terms, what data scientists do is they'll get a bunch of super messy data from a company that's automatically collected, and then they have to organize that data, make some sort of sense out of it, and give actionable advice to people within the company. Now, when it comes to work environment on BLS.gov, data science is actually categorized under the computer and information research scientist. And they held about 33,000 jobs in 2020. And the largest employer of computer and information research scientists were the federal government at 31%, research and development in physical engineering and life sciences at 16%, computer systems design and related services at 15%, software publishers at 9%, and colleges, universities, and professional schools, state, local, and private at 5%. Now, another thing that I want to mention here is just like many other technology-related careers, this one is rapidly developing. So you have data analysts, data engineers, and data scientists, and at many different companies, these roles are somewhat blurred together. So I am gonna to touch on those other careers a little bit, but I'm also likely gonna make separate videos dedicated to those. But needless to say, you are going to be spending a lot of time sitting at your desk and on a computer if you become a data scientist. And you will also spend a significant amount of time communicating and explaining the findings of your data. Now, the next thing we're gonna be talking about is job satisfaction. And generally speaking, technology careers do tend to shine in this category. Category. Now, according to careerexplorer.com, data scientists are about average when it comes to job satisfaction overall. They were in the top 43% of careers, so that's slightly above average. Payscale didn't list data science specifically, but database administrators came in at about 72% job satisfaction, which is pretty good. However, the meaning was about 49%, and that basically means that you're pretty happy with your job, but you don't necessarily think that you're making a huge impact, a huge difference in the world. Now, when it comes to some of the best and the worst companies to work at, if you are a data scientist, Google, of course, ranks really high up there. They got a 4.5 star rating from data scientists. And an example of a company that did not rank so well was Change Healthcare at about 3.4 stars. So you definitely want to do your research. Glassdoor is a great resource for doing your research on which company you're going to work for because that can significantly increase or decrease your job satisfaction and even meaning. And to be fair, job satisfaction is extremely subjective. So this is something that's really gonna depend on your personality. So you do have to look into it and make sure it's something that you enjoy. Next, we're gonna be talking about how to become a data scientist. Now, according to BLS, in order to become a computer and information research scientist, you are going to need at least a master's level degree. And if you look a little bit closer, you'll see that about 49% of people who become data scientists do have a master's master's degree or above. But that also means that 51% of people who became data scientists don't. So it really depends on the route that you want to go. And I can just say that technology in general usually has multiple different routes in order to get to your goal or your career. So for instance, some people might become a data analyst first, and then they get some experience in that role. They teach themselves on the job and they also get some certifications. And then maybe five years down the line, they can become a data scientist. You also notice that at different companies, there's a strong distinction between data analyst and data scientist. And at some, they are basically the same thing. But just know that if you wanna become a data scientist right out of school, you're likely going to need a master's, but there are alternative ways to get into it. Now, when it comes to pay, data scientists make fantastic money. 
According to BLS, computer and information research scientists make $126,000 a year. And if you compare this to all other occupations, that's about three times more than average of about $41,000 a year. And it's even more than the average computer related occupation, which they are known for paying really well of about $91,000. If you look at Glassdoor, you're going to see very similar numbers, about $121,000 a year for data scientists. So data science pays extremely well, just like many different technologies related careers. And if you look at pay over a lifetime, you'll see that computer and math related careers tend to pay around $3.1 million over a lifetime, which is only second to engineering related careers. And keep in mind that this was over the last 40 years. So over the next 40 years, it's entirely possible that computer and math related careers could even pass engineering. So yeah, pay is not something you're going to have to worry about if you become a data scientist. They are paid very, very well. Now, when it comes to the job outlook, BLS has them growing at about 22% over the next 10 years, which is much faster than average. If you can compare that to all occupations, it's about 8%, and technology-related occupations, which are known to grow really fast, are about 13%. Now, this is a very new field, and it's expanding to so many different types of roles. Uh, people are just starting to specialize in different things. I mentioned this before on the channel, but I met somebody who is a database architect, made friends with them, and they told me that they worked around 10, maybe 20 hours a week, depending on the week, and they made over 200 thousand dollars a year and the reason they were able to make so much money is because they specialize so if you look at really well established careers like doctor and lawyer first of all it's very easy to see that they branch off and they have different specializations and then you see that the more you specialize generally speaking the more money you make and it's likely going to be the same exact thing as the career of data science progresses now in terms of the risk of automation i think it's very very low if you look at will robots take my job.com computer and information research scientists have about a four percent chance of automation i don't think you need to worry at all about automation when it comes to data science. Now, when it comes to outsourcing, that is something that you might need to worry about a little bit, but it's usually not nearly as bad as a lot of people make it out to be. Because the truth is, yes, people in other parts of the world are just as smart as us and they can do the same jobs that we can do. However, you have a huge advantage if you're somebody who is familiar with the culture and you regularly communicate with whatever you know people that are in countries you live in, which most of my viewers are from the US. Even when you're doing something as analytical as making sense of data, it helps tremendously to be familiar with your market and the culture that you live in. And then on top of that, data science requires a a tremendous amount of communication, which again, if you grew up in the US, it's going to be much easier for you to communicate your message to other people within the company. So yes, there's no doubt in my mind that part of data science will be outsourced, but there will be so many more jobs popping up that I don't think it's going to make a significant difference. Now, when it comes to some of the tasks that you might be doing on a day to day basis, um, you're going to be analyzing, manipulating or processing large sets of data using statistical software. You'll be applying feature selection algorithms to models predicting outcomes of interest, such as sales, attrition, and healthcare use. You'll be applying sample techniques to determine groups to be surveyed or use complete enumeration methods. And I'll just leave that up on the screen for a moment if you want to read the rest of them. When it comes to some of the work activities that you'll be doing, you'll be advising others on analytical techniques, analyzing business or financial data, analyzing data to identify or resolve operational problems. And again, I'll leave that up on the screen for a few moments so you can read that. Now, some of the certifications that are recommended by the government websites are Professional Machine Learning Engineer by Google, the SAP Certified Application Associate Data Integration with SAP Data Services, and then Professional Data Engineer Certification by Google as well. Now, those are relatively advanced. If you want something to kind of dip your toe into data and see if it's something that you really like, you can also check out the data analytics certification that Google put out as well on Coursera. Now, when it comes to the best locations for data scientists within the United States, I'm gonna do a top five best and a top five worst. Now, when it comes to employment, I'll have that pop up on the screen so you can see how many data scientists are hired in different areas. And when it comes to the average wage, I'll also have that pop up on the screen so you can see that as well. Overall, California, Virginia, Washington, New York, and Oregon were the top five states for data scientists with Washington coming in at number one. The top five worst states were Mississippi, Wyoming, South Carolina, Oklahoma, and Florida, with Florida coming in as the absolute worst state. So overall, I hope this gave you a good overview of the career of data scientists. It is a very good career. 
Um, I did make another video where I kind of gave more of my opinion on it. You can definitely check that out. I think I called it, um, is becoming a data scientist worth it? Or is data science a good career? I honestly forgot what I named it, but I'll have that one pop up right here. Gently tap that like button, hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video. And I will see you next time.